This is Kathy Dam. I'm going to show you how you can view the notes I've made for you on your writing assignments. I'm looking at one of my sample courses. The first step, step you'll want to take is to v click on the View Complete link that's associated with your writing assignment. In this case, it's the um, article critique. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Again, this is a, a fake student view, but just to give you an example. You will see something pop up that shows the title of your uh, the assignment that you turned in. You should have already submitted it. This would be the process you would do to submit an article. This would or your writing assignment. This is also the way you get your feedback. You can go ahead and click on the view button to get your feedback. There are several options for things for you to view in this Turnitin Feedback Viewer. Up in the upper left, you can toggle through the different options. If you click on the Originality Report, you will see any overlap with um, articles found online or other papers submitted to Turnitin as well. And so those papers will highlight in different colors. This sample introduction, it looks like those things appear as references. You can see that this wouldn't be considered plagiarism because you're using a reference that somebody else also had. That's why you can't always rely on the number for your percent similarity for judgments of um, plagiarism, but instead we look at the, the writing that you did. You can see in this particular um, example, there is no writing that overlaps with anyone else's work. More importantly, you can see for the grade mark option, several things come up. The blue um, pop-ups, these are comments that I've made. The purple pop-ups are um, Turnitin's attempt to grade your grammar. I don't always agree with some of these, but actually some of them are pretty good. Um, but the blue pop-ups are the things that I'm targeting more specifically. When you're in this grade mark view that you toggled up in the upper left, you have several options in the bottom right you'll see this call out button. This is where you can see any comments that I've made where I've just typed a comment to you um, that I wanted you to know. If I made a audio recording, this is also where you would find it. If you click on this button that looks kind of like a Tetris box button, you can see um, the grades I gave you on the different categories for the assignment. And so in this particular assignment, I had several levels and you can see the point score and then whether um, what any wording I had associated with that rubric. Sometimes it's helpful to see the entire rubric rather than just the piece that you were marked at. So if you scroll down and click on view full size rubric, then you will be able to see the entire rubric and where your assignment fell on each level of the rubric. So for example, in this assignment, um, for the summary portion, there were several levels where a student could perform. This particular example paper performed at above expectations, and this was the text I had written there. For the critique portion, this student performed at meets expectations. Um, the above expectations would have been here, but you can see that this, because this is marked blue, this is where they were marked for this assignment. So sometimes viewing the entire rubric is useful for seeing how you obtained that grade. If you have any questions, I encourage you to ask uh, sooner than later so we can clarify and you can use this information to better improve later writing assignments.